Let's take a look at our push type clutch. So if we look at the push type clutch here, what we can see is that we have our cast clutch housing. We have our linkage that's making, it's a mechanical linkage making contact with our release yoke fork that would be coming through our clutch housing itself. Now, if we actually look inside the inspection cover where the technician would normally be looking, and now commonly this would be on the underside, but we have this rotated on the trainer just for the ability to see a little bit easier without crawling on the floor. So if we look inside our inspection cover here, what we can see is that we have a stamped steel clutch cover. We have our ball bearing or release bearing right here. And we see our release levers. So in this case, we actually have three release levers. Now, what we should notice is as I rotate this flywheel, we should be seeing that my output shaft, really it would be the input shaft of the transmission, the output of the clutch, is actually rotating. And that's because this is a spring applied clutch. So a spring applied clutch is held with uh, torque delivery through the clutch disc to the input shaft of the transmission when my foot is off the clutch pedal. Now, when I make a slight clutch application, what we can see is even if I were to gently just sort of rest my foot on the clutch pedal, what we'll actually notice is that that bearing rotates with the clutch at engine speed. Now, this release bearing is only supposed to be rotating when I'm engaging the clutch pedal and trying to disengage the clutch itself. So when I push it all the way down. Otherwise, what should happen is it should retract because of the return springs and now we should actually have a running clearance between those release levers and the release bearing themselves. So this would be your normal free pedal that you would see inside the cab. As the clutch wears, what we'll see is those release levers make contact with our release bearing and that will result in continuous wear of our release bearing. So it's important that we maintain our linkage adjustment so that we maintain our running clearance. Now, when we want to make a clutch pedal engagement and disengage the clutch itself, we push the pedal all the way to the floor and we see that the push type clutch moves the release bearing towards the flywheel. As I release the clutch pedal with my leg, we will notice that the release bearing pulls back and now we are driving the input shaft of the transmission. So notice when I make my foot all the way to the floor, we no longer have rotation on the output of the clutch, which is the input shaft of the transmission. So the input shaft of the transmission is splined to the clutch disc that when I release my pedal, it's being sandwiched between the pressure plate that's right inside of here and my flywheel flat surface. So it's really clear to see that a push type clutch actually moves the release bearing towards the flywheel.